In this quick tip video, I want to talk about a simple three-step process that I always use when I'm editing my landscape photography images, and I really think it will help you get better results. So step one in my editing process begins by me opening up the raw file in my editing software, having a really good look at it and thinking where do I want to go with this image, how do I want to edit it, what does the final result need to look like. Now for me personally that's very much a case of getting the end photograph representing faithfully the scene that I've captured with a little bit of my creative input added in there as well of course. For other people they may like to make much more drastic changes so they may make extreme changes to the colour of the image, the exposure, whatever. Regardless of your style, I think it's really important to study the raw image and think what do you want the end edited result to look like. If you don't do this, I think it's a bit like driving off in your car on some roads that you're not familiar with, just hoping that you're going to end up somewhere nice. Sometimes you may get lucky, you may just adjust the sliders in your editing software and get a result that you, you like the look of, or you, end, you may end up at a nice place in your car. But other times, if you just head off with no clear direction, no clear plan, you often don't get the results that you're hoping for. So step two in my editing process is where I actually begin the editing of my image. And at this stage, I like to try and stick as close to the plan that I formulated in step one as is possible. And when it comes to editing, I try to spend as little time editing as is possible but I'll always spend as much time editing as I feel the image requires. So in some cases it may be 5 to 10 minutes for a simple edit, in other cases it may be much much longer, perhaps it was a difficult exposure, perhaps I had to take multiple images for a focus stack. But whatever it is, I just spend the amount of time editing that I feel the image requires. And once I get to the stage where I'm happy with the image, I think it's at the point that I'm happy with it, I stop my editing. I think it's very dangerous to continue editing and just go too far, trying to make changes and push an image too far, because that gets the image moving away from your vision, your plan that you had in step one. So the final step in my editing process, step three, is where after I finish step two, I simply leave the image and I'll come back and look at it the following day. And at that point, I'll either get my confirmation that I'm happy with the edit or I'll notice a few things that I maybe want to change. It could be a simple exposure change. Maybe I need to change the colors a little bit. But I think leaving the image for this period of time overnight is really really helpful and it just confirms that you've got the image where you want it or you need to make a few more subtle tweaks just to complete it. I think it's very good to distance yourself from an image once you've done your edit in step two and ideally for me I think this works best when I leave it to the following day. So regardless if I've been editing in the morning, afternoon or evening, I always leave it to the following day before I come back and review my image. I think that overnight sleep just helps you distance yourself completely from the image that you've been editing and look at it the following day with a fresh pair of eyes. I really do hope that this quick tip video on my simple three-step process for editing my images will help you get better results. 
If you've enjoyed it and found it useful and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing and click the notification bell and you'll get notified when I upload further videos such as this one. But for now, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you in my next one.